out of his mind. Homicidal. He threatened to kill Phil the other day, didn't he? Max Brennan threatened your life? Sharon. What? He did. Not ever since it came out about that company he works for. It's been a loose cannon. It's only a matter of time before someone got hurt. The bloke's got shifty eyes. And so he must be guilty? No. Just saying, I won't trust him. I just can't believe anyone would do that to their own daughters. Well, he's a psycho, isn't he? Normal rules don't apply. Hey, where are you going? Leave him. What do you mean? No comment. I didn't do anything. You've told them you weren't suicidal. Yeah, because I didn't want to risk getting sectioned. I've got to get out of there. I've got to get to the hospital. I appreciate that, but Mr. Brenning, if you weren't trying to kill yourself, they'll want to know why you were up on the roof. That's all right. I told you. It was an accident. They fell. This is merely to protect your rights later if they decide to charge you. Particularly if the situation becomes more serious. What about Abby? That's all the information I have, Mr. Brenning. Yeah, I deny you were suicidal. Oh, because I panicked. I thought you'd sectioned me. Please, I've told you everything I know. I just need to get out of here. I need to get to the hospital. Excuse me, man. And then... Tell me, you have to. This has gone far enough. I didn't say anything before because I was scared. Look, you don't know what he's like. The company he keeps. He he had a knife and he, he was going out of his mind. Um, he was trying to strangle me. I mean, he, he pushed Lauren to the floor. I mean, it doesn't matter that she was his daughter. Um, yeah, I'd say he was capable. I'd say he was capable of anything. All present as before. Max Banning, are you guilty of causing grievous bodily harm to your daughters Lauren and Abby Branning? Dave D.I. Fuller is leaving the room. Interview suspended at 9.12pm.